yeah good evening guys i'll be today i'll be doing a video um about uh buttons and all that trying to show you how buttons and um in forms or if i can say maybe in the delphi form or in pagadero how they all work and uh, that's what i'm intended to do uh today and um I hope you get to understand what I'll be doing here. For example, today I mean now. In fact, I just want to have maybe um, to add two numbers, or maybe I can say subtract. It depends on what I want. But I would like to maybe try to show you an example where I can just add two numbers. Uh, maybe add two numbers, and then all uh, after adding the numbers, I will have to uh, get the whole answer. So, you know, when we talk about the, um, the interface part, we're talking about creating the interface and also be able to make such kind of execution to your own likes. So, um, for an example, like I said, we, we should somehow have two numbers to, to make two numbers, add two numbers. So there must be some way we should somehow enter those numbers where to, to so like for example now I'll create one thing i'll just um add for myself an edit box this is an edit box um and an edit box two of them the reason why i want two of them is because i've realized that i will have to use uh, i'll have to add numbers and the numbers that i've indicated before i said is two and then i need two of them okay so Another another part, I would maybe um, a label, a label. Um, I'll explain to you what a label is and the, the edit box. For sh for example, an edit box, it's where you would like to enter things yourself. You can enter them in an edit box. Um, and then a label, a label is just a label. A label is just like, um, it's just uh, some sort of um, a description of what you are doing. It somehow tells or paint some direction of what you are doing. Like if I say label, and for example now I said label uh, num one, I'll say you you you'll understand what I say. I'm trying to make a point that now uh, this edit box it's for num one. Trying to lab it's a label. Try somehow um, depicts for us which one it's which and explains what is it about that gives a description of what we are dealing with and that's what uh, the case is here so and as you know that this edit box there's edit one edit two and they are what's inside we we shouldn't be having what's this edit box inside those are the names that were given to us so we should somehow create or m i can say uh, name them to our own preference and that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna say edit that's what normally we're gonna num one and but we remember we also do not want to, okay and then also maybe let me say add let me try to rename this one the edit two um i will give it the name two of the same that i've given the other one the difference will be two so also i do not want the edit num to appear there i want them like to because i want to enter them i want to like enter something into them like you can see now what you have here it's like edit num one and which is not supposed to be the case so i want it empty so what i should do is to go and then in here as you see check i would have to in the text line you have to remove the text so you go to the first the second one which is number two and then remove the text inside so um one thing that i also want to another thing i mean that i would like to maybe include is the button we'll need a button a button i will explain to you what i want to say is that when i enter those two numbers i would enter i would maybe somehow uh press a button to somehow display my answer and also i'll need somewhere i don't know maybe it could be a label i think we should like add a label another label the last level where our answer would be displayed the total answer label where the answer would be displayed 
So you would see that uh, for now you, you have seen that uh, the first label and the second label for the first numbers we just uh, manually type them. But now we would like that uh, whenever a button is um, is pressed that it happens. So what I want to, to tell you is that um, we have components. We have components for each of uh, these stuff that I've som somehow um, placed here. Uh, for label, we have maybe mm, caption. For the text, we have uh, for the text we have uh, edit box. I mean, we have text, and then for the uh, for the button, uh, for the button, uh, I think uh, it's caption. So, but however, I'll explain to you what I mean. So here I'm d um, I'm naming my label, so it's fine now. So now I have to come to the button because the most important part, these stuffs, they have properties, and the property is what it contains, what definitely it should somehow. Um, its properties it's what it is what it is that you cannot change something that you need change but we talk about now we have about events you see events here events it depends on are you somehow going to be on a click event clicking the button or maybe are you just going to be to, to be somehow on an exit or are you going to just place a mouse i mean i mean maybe place a mouse down or drop a mouse down it depends on now are you going to press it or and are you going to maybe after when you label the mouse like that, we have some some what you call on leave. When it's only for for example, now I have my own which is um, the and I just enter. I want to say on click when I click it, something happens. So I've I'm on an on click one. So I'll use the on click one, the on click one, other than the other them. But anyway, it's fine. So what now it's needed? I want to explain to you these things now. Um. You know our numbers. What do you think we should know? Our numbers here. You just can just play any number. You can say number uh, one, and then you can have maybe uh, the second number. Not maybe, but we should the second number and also um, uh, what should it, where our answer would be placed. This is like this. So these are our variables. These variables, na these variable names can be of any choice you want. They don't have to be the same as. This is just just variables that you'll store the numbers nothing else and now we need to uh, write something and we really need to write a program i mean not a program we need to write an, a line that will able to somehow uh, execute what i have indicated um and then for now it's um uh for sure i will just make sure num1 um now get when you edit for example now i want it so when somebody enter a number in the edit box it gets into num1 into the variable and i told you that this one is well i've not explained to you i know the property of this one is text each time you said edit box num remember this edit num1 this edit num1 it's our own it's an, it's an edit box that we have created on our design but we have also given it our own name and then uh, our design since you know problem um, i have a problem with the mouse a bit our design is this one and you can see this is an, an edit box one this is an edit box two but now we are dealing with this one this one as you as you can see you can see this is edit box num one if i click it if i come to here uh, this is edit num two because i have uh somehow declare I mean declared I mean I must name them myself before I've shown you now but I'll still explain to you these properties and all that I'm just trying to make you understand what it's gonna be uh, throughout uh, the whole semester and all thing like that so you understand what we are dealing with and what you go you're gonna be dealing with for so so now we go back to our button and then now this is supposed to be the case so remember everything that i do should be an integer so i'm just assuming whatever you enter should be an integer because we know that here we no longer use 
strings we use as strings and strings so now since i've indicated my number one at the top num one is an in num two and an answer i've just declared them as an int therefore they should be converted to an int so now i have to do the same thing to num one i can just copy the same thing um or maybe just type them it's fine i don't have a problem with that um num two um um sometimes when you want to make when you want to somehow uh what you 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 say um ha allow allow um but it's fine i'll not explain to you it's fine it's fine i'll, I'll, I'll show you some examples sometimes let me just do this now i'm also con I'm, I'm doing the same thing this this it's the same as that one of convecting the this str you can see you can see i have this str which is string to int it's the same as to int just like that because it's a text to int it's the same thing but whatever this case is just that you when you do it you have to put these ones into bracket because but this one is fine when you're dying says it's string to the same thing né? to int dot to int but here you just say uh, str to int and then you place whatever it is just the same as here the same thing but i just want to show you another way of how you can convert something into string so that's how we sh we are doing them uh, we're making them converting them to int because we have declared them as int and their numbers how can we add we want to add two numbers and we cannot add the two numbers while they are what their text so when entering uh, them be uh, converting them so that they become what you call uh integers and now it's simple you can ch just say num1 uh plus num2 and then that's what you're supposed to do and since num2 and that's that's it so lastly now we have to what uh what's done we have to take the answer that we have calculated or we have somehow uh processed to our own label which is calculate answer and you know the name here it appears it's calculate answer and we have given it a name here is just a caption that says we are calculating the answer but it has its own name which is label answer so this name we're going to use it we go to the button or can come here and say and call it like that label one thing if you want the, the computer or the compiler to help you just say um control space and it's, if you say le lbl like label i can say lbl and and press control space and then voila it will somehow assist me and give me one the, the, the available choices or available then this is what because they, it knows what i've declared and it's kept it that and it's like that and then levels caption and uh, what i do i do is to place my answer i want to place my answer this way my answer will be stored and then i would like to say, to say this before now the answer mm, is but you know i have to add it and before before i have to convert before i can add it to, to what to the label i have to what to convert it into text because now everything then everything that we do we have because it was int but we don't work with int we work with strings we're only using it as an int there to make calculations but now we're done we want to use it here on our own compiler the compiler understands if ev everything you work if you work with numbers use them as in but if you want to you add I mean maybe display them on something on a label or anything you have to convert them back to strings and that's what we're gonna do convert it to strings so we're gonna say like this int immediately say int it will help us and we just say int two and then you see into strings and we place exactly our answer like that and you see it will be there and inside we say answer and that's it and done and we are done with the program and we are going to save the program and then uh, show you what it's supposed to be and then you'll see we're going to run the program for you guys and this is what we are i'm somehow going to make sure that one day i explain to you the properties of each kind of um uh the properties of each kind of item that we have so now i would have maybe remember that on this part i know that 
we're calculating the answer but based on addition i didn't explain to you first one word because calculation could be even a subtraction and all that but now we are only adding because you have realized what we did we could also create as many as edit box for what and also another like another level uh for um, subtraction but now we didn't really much um somehow specify what we are doing we only made on addition but now i'm, I'm but i i I, pr I presumed you understand because the program was an addition since you s you've seen then on uh, the side of um on my program when here you have somehow realized that i was adding here i added them so i since i added them yeah sorry and um, yeah so you see that's addition but anyway that's not the case what i would like to show you is my program and now i'm going to come if i have 15 I enter 15 I should see the answer here and then this is it the answer is 80 we all know that it's 880 that's it we can uh, try and add anything if I would like I would like 27 27 and this one we should know that this should give us around t t mm, 30 something like 43 i'm sorry <laughs> 43 and then like that's 42 by the way sorry <laughs> that's the case and then if you like you can make calculations but let me try to make something that um, at least we all can see 115 115 115 so that we all can believe what i'm doing so uh we can put maybe 20 so you can see it's gonna be 120 but i have to press the button each time i have to press the button it's 100 and 20 as you can see this is what i wanted to give you guys the indication there is more to it that we have got a lot of um variety of stuff that we're gonna be working on so much and this is just a background of what you are expected to do and i hope you understand and i hope you get to somehow ask questions about this video uh thank you for your time i know that i'm so mind for the jew that i <laughs> i speak fast and sometimes i might make some uh, sort of mumbling talk so please forgive me for that that's how i speak anyway it's fine mm, this is your video uh thank you for the time um everything it's fine i guess